You were falling deeply in love Now I'm distrust Your intentions Let me know, be known, be known Oh OGT man <laughs> Let me stop playing. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we got Neo is done. Now, I know I'm late. Listen, listen, get off my case. Get off my case. Get off my case. Um, drop in the comments if y'all want some more videos to react to. But yeah, hold up. Wait a minute. Getting a little nippy in here. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't look at me. I'm cooked. Oh yeah, Cinco de Mayo, we got a video dropping then, boom. Anyway, without that being said, let's get to the video. Neon. I was really hoping I would never make another video involving this dude, but... Here we are. Neon has yet again been banned on Kick, a platform that has almost zero TOS. This time around, people are saying it's a permanent ban, but I thought his last ban was also permanent, and that was lifted after like a week. Last time he was banned for saying some vile things to a 14 year old on Discord. What's your name? What's your name? first name? All I need is your first name. I don't care. I'm an internet warrior. What's your name? What's your first name, bitch? What's your first name, bitch? Tell me your first name, pussy. I'll give you Miami. I don't give a fuck. You're 10 years old. Oh, whoa! You saying that to Tinger? Nah, you're wild. Buddy is completely crazy. I wouldn't even argue with no 14 year old, let alone 10. You got that one, buddy. God, shut the fuck up, bitch. What do you think he was banned for this time? Would you believe me if I told you it was because he was involved in a hit and run? Yeah, he's, um,. He's been up to a lot. If you don't know Neon, I'm sure most of you have probably seen his face before at some point. He's Ooh. a kick streamer. And uh, that's all you really need to know to form a pretty solid opinion on the guy. He was recently arrested when he was live streaming in Dubai and filming without permission. So I understand that um, it's not official, right? You're going to jail? Oh, there's a Ripley's, believe it or not. It. Yeah, put it down, just put it down, bro, put it down. What are you doing, bro, put it down. Close it, turn off, turn off, bro, turn off. Turn off. When all of this happened, tons of news articles reported that he was going to be in jail for like a year. Nah, I did. I did see the, some of these, but I was just like, bro, this, 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 this is exactly why. This is exactly why. Mm -mm. Can't, even, can't even involve myself in nothing dumb. I ain't trying to end up like that. Y'all, don't mind the head. Chill out, chill out. Gotta get my hair rebraided. Chill out on me. Chill out. Oh, shocker. He was back after a few days. Maybe a week. With a beard somehow. In this comeback stream, he basically announced that um he was back. I mean, obviously, but... <laughs> Chat, at the end of the day, bro, I'm happy to be back, bro. I'm happy to be, be back, bro. Because I... Look at all these weird spamming no, bro. You guys are weird, bro. And he took full accountability for what happened in Dubai. Kind of. He sort of subtly blames the entire situation on his cameraman, saying that the idiot filmed the police. Referring to his cameraman as the idiot. So, uh, basically, chat, what happened was, um, JCV, the sped, um, you know, you know him, idiot. Um, uh, my cameraman, basically, um, I'm not gonna put the blame on him, but, um, you know, we did some some not good activities there, man. You know, uh, it was not it was not good what we did, and um, we, um, we we were filming in the um, in the areas where we're not supposed to film, and it was not a good situation. It was not a good scenario. Uh, it really. How you gonna blame? I mean, obviously your cameraman shouldn't have been recorded, but at the end of the day, that's your cameraman. You need to tell you need he needs to be put in on the on the check on hit on everything. He's supposed to already know what to and what to not do and what to and what to not record that's your problem you don't got your people in check that's why you're bit that white girl over there getting bent over by these nick no let me stop let me stop let me stop, let me stop. Let me stop. so um basically what happened is um um 
the chat, the, the real situation was we, we accidentally filmed the cops, bro. We act, the, the sped, like his eyes were popping wide open filming the cops where he was like excited, bro. I don't know what the f he was doing, bro. The idiot filmed the cops. It wasn't his fault. Though. I don't blame him. I take full accountability. It was my fault. And honestly, things could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I mean, it really does seem like he doesn't want anyone to blame the cameraman here. I mean, that's why he brought it up at all. To tell people not to be mad at his cameraman. He's a really good guy. To me, yeah. the funniest part of this entire 18 and a half minute video that I totally watched the entirety of is when he says this. Chat, it showed me genuinely that actions have consequences, bro. Chat, I thought I was invincible, bro. I thought I was... Eight sleep pop. Oh, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. What are we doing? No. Go back. God. <clears throat> Hold up, y'all. This done hurt my soul. Why would it do me like this? Why would it do me? Alright, let's get... My bad. My bad. Let's get back to where we was The at. funniest part of this entire 18 and a half minute video that I bad. totally watched no, the no, entirety no. of is when he says this. Chat, it showed me genuinely that actions have consequences, bro. Chat, I thought I was invincible, bro. I thought I was... <laughs> but in reality, look at me. I'm a little piece of sh bro. I'm a piece of sh chat. It showed him that actions genuinely have consequences, huh? Well, at the time of recording this, that video was posted less than two weeks ago. How much of this valuable life lesson do you think is stuck with Neon? Well, do you remember what I said he got banned for? Would you believe me if I told you it was because he was involved in a hit and run? That was last night, as of me recording this. On Monday, April 29th, 2024, Neon was involved in a hit and run. And no, he wasn't a victim of this hit and run. He was in the car that was causing the problem. Basically what happened is Neon got into contact and met up with this guy who's also a content creator that goes by the name of Squeeze Benz. What does this guy do? He hops into super nice cars, like a Mercedes Benz or more recently a Lamborghini Urus. He hops on the freeway and drives fast, like two to three times the speed limit fast. That's what he says at least. What are the different penalties for if you got caught doing what we're I'm running red lights. I'm doing more than triple the speed limit, double the speed limit. This is a lot of tickets to him. And he gets into high speed chases with the police. I think his main goal is to evade them. It's like he's playing GTA, but there's real people's lives in the line. And no, I'm not just talking about his own. If he hits someone going these speeds, they are not gonna be okay at the end of that. I found this video where a YouTuber goes and hangs out with the most wanted drivers in New York. One of the guys in the video happens to be none other than Squeeze himself. And according to Squeeze, nobody's more wanted than him. On a scale of one to 10, how wanted would you say you are? Probably a 10, nobody's more wanted than me. Really? Yeah. That's insane. Must be the reason that in uh, almost every instance I see him, he's covered head to toe face blurred with voice distortion. He mentions that he's been driving since he was nine years old and doing stuff like this since he was a young teenager. You said you've been driving since you were nine years old? My dad used to give me his car. You know, I used to sell his lap when I was like seven. He used to give me the steering wheel back. And then, you know, I hit nine. So he used to send me over to AutoZone real quick. I used to go to AutoZone and Depot, whatever the isn't that good to know <laughs> so um basically what i'm getting at is squeeze benz <laughs> is a criminal neon's known to kind of be a person that will do pretty much anything to get a few clicks and views just go viral and after everything that's been going on with his streaming career recently i have a feeling he's probably been looking for anything he could get to boost his image a little bit and considering literally no one in the industry wants to collab with the guy I'm gonna put some reality check i'm gonna put a reality check me and stain reached out to probably 40 plus people and not one of them wanted to come on your stream damn more than 40 plus Sucks to be a nigga named Neon. You hate to see it. Yeah. <clears throat> bro, that's like not messing around. I'm not trying to be mean, like, but something needs to change, bro. Wait, why didn't they want to come on my stream? They literally, all of them were like, we're good off that. His only choice seems to be to turn to criminals for content. But I guess the usual bunch of criminals on kick wasn't enough. <laughs> 
for Neon. Neon meets up with Squeeze, saying that he's gonna do some sort of interview with him. I imagine similarly to the one that the guy in the video I showed you earlier did. The format is similar for sure. Squeeze driving, interviewer in the passenger seat. The only difference here is that the interview is live. The other one was filmed, so Squeeze wasn't able to get that immediate attention from doing something chaotic and off script. But with a live chat of well, I mean, debatably, 20,000 viewers. A lot of people say Neon view bots. So, speaking of view botting, uh, what is your thoughts on Neon? What the fuck? <laughs> yo, yo, this shit is messy, bro. Jinxie? Oh, hell no. no. Does anyone even like me anymore, bro? Which, honestly, wouldn't surprise me one bit. I've never talked to a single person that actually watches it. Squeeze saw this as an opportunity to show off his skills a bit for the chat. I honestly just think he took the other guy a little bit more seriously than he does Neon. I mean, he really has nothing to lose if Neon is mad at him, so. So Squeeze floors it and starts doing his thing, swerving in and out of cars on the freeway, going very fast from the looks of it, all while Neon makes the most annoying noise I think has ever been produced by the human throat. <laughs> I wanna took him serious either. Um I ain't gonna sugarcoat none. I ain't gonna say shit that I went to Do you hear what he said? Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> like come on. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Genuinely, if, if the viewers are real, I don't know how so many people sat there and, <laughs> and listen to this. It's so annoying. Squeeze keeps going as Neon begs him to stop. That's a fun sentence out of context. All until this happens. Okay. Alright, we're good, we're good. Calm, 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 calm. Calm, 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 calm. Calm, 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 calm. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Damn. What the fuck? Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. And then they just kept going as crazy. crazy After crashing, Squeeze, instead of checking on the person that was also in the accident to, you know, make sure that they're okay, decides to just slam on the gas and drive away. Also a great guy. I just looked it up to make sure. A hit and run can be charged as both a felony or a misdemeanor, depending on its severity. If something like property was damaged or destroyed, it's most likely going to be counted as a misdemeanor. Whereas if someone is injured or killed, well, that's, that's, that's a felony. I mean, obviously, that's... That just makes sense. But like I said, we don't know what happened to the other person, if they're okay or not. He left. I don't know. I couldn't find anything on it. I, I looked for like 20 minutes. I couldn't find anything about the, the other person that was in that, mm. that crash. So hopefully in the next couple days, something comes out about that. After the crash, Neon was visibly terrified, pleading for Squeeze to let him out, which eventually he does. And when Neon gets out of the car, he starts like sprinting in a random direction, screaming that he needs to get inside. All right, right here, right here. Drop me up, drop me up, drop me up, drop me up. All right, thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, bye. All right, thank you, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, give me my phone. No, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, bro. Get me the fuck out of here, bro. Come on. Hell not, nah, bro. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? Stop, bro, stop. What do we do? What do we do? We need to get... Huh? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Bro, we need to go inside some... Come here, come here. Come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Bro, we just crashed. I can't be on the street like this, bro. I need to go. If he's trying to, like, lose the police or something, I 
I hate to break it to him. New York has a lot of cameras around the city. If one of them saw your face, I don't think it matters if you're inside that building or not. I'm just being real. Since these events, Neon has been banned on kick once again. Honestly, I think Neon being banned permanently is in everyone's best interest, but that's just my opinion on it. <laughs> Neon is one of the least interesting people I have ever seen on the internet. Like every time he starts talking, I, all, I don't want to watch it or I just know it's going to be stupid. Like I, I just... I, I... Hey, watching this video right now just got me sick. My f Bro, y'all be safe out there. Like ain't no way. Y'all seen dude car? Yeah, he need to be done after that one. I ain't even gonna lie. Well, y'all, let me get to editing these bangers for you. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. When out there being said, it's your boy OGT Man signing out.